please help me in welcoming Jayanti Manikam. Adventure must start with running away from home. Adventure must start with running away from home. Toastmaster Jayanti Manikam. Thank you, Supa, for the wonderful uh, introduction. If you want to do engineering, you have to go to hostel. The commanding voice of my Hitler dad uh, is still echoing in my ears like a roaring lion whenever I rewind my memories. Uh, doing a college is not an easy as pie like shown in movies. To spice up more, my, I had an auspicious start of college life with a condition. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters from Meraki and Vipro. Uh, whenever we face different, different situations, it, it shapes our life. And um, when, uh, whenever there, there is a change we have to face, it changes our life into different uh, form. My dad, was not happy with the way my mother was bringing me up. So he came out with a master plan to throw me out of the bubble of comfort zone. So before you think how I was, let me reveal the secret. I was just homebound and an introvert couch potato. I used to have uh, food given by my, uh, prepared by my mother, especially with curd. I never used to go out, I stay at home. Seeing this, my father th thought that this is not going to work out. So he created a master plan and made me to agree to go to hostel. My college hunt started from Chennai to Hosu. In the middle of that hunt, I like a film heroine, I fell in love with my college Karuni Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. It's a magical place under Sirwani Hills. So my father decided to invest money in me for, for his future. Yes, I got a, a government payment seat a place in CSE department. So I was about, I mean, uh, I have to rush to go to college because the first years are all, first year classes are already started. So I was full of fuzzy and I didn't even uh, realize what is happening around me. I was, uh, once I, one part of me was uh, eagerly waiting to explore my hostel life. One part of me was, uh, dreading to leave my mother, who, who was my apple of my eye. The day came, and uh, since I was in a dilemma, my father thought, okay, this is not going to work out if my mother comes along with us. So he decided to take us alone, take me alone to the hostel to avoid all the drama and the uh, scene uh, of emotional scene. Basically, I like night trains. I sleep here in uh, one place and wake up at destination. But my father, who is a budget Padmanabha, booked tickets in Co Express. Okay, so early morning, I got up and I said uh, bye to my mother with, with a very sad face and also to my neighbor aunties and left home along with my father. Day train journey is especially boring when you go along with a reserved person. When, when the train was leaving Chennai, I was feel, my heart was feeling very heavy. I can't even express my feelings to my father because he will shout at me. So I was sitting and looking outside and uh, seeing all the passengers and I was feeling so bored. It was the most painful journey of my life. In the evening, um, my father's relative came and received us. Without even pro uh, feeding me properly, they took me to the college, which is 27 kilometers away from the city. And I just went and uh, 
it was a magical place it was like an artistic view with a full of mountains and sea of buildings my father got so much impressed on the other hand amidst of the roller coaster of emotions the silence of that place was killing me and they were to complete all the formalities i was moved from one building to another building with a noisy stomach at the end of the day i have to go for a medical check up when they took my bp it was high and then we were, we were directed to first year hostel yeah we had a separate first year hostel because we we were we were prevented to avoid our ragging from seniors so the third and fourth floor were occupied by first years but for unfortunately since i had a wheezing problem my uh, father uh, requested a room in second floor where pg students are pre present and when i went into the ho hostel room i was alone no one was there my father and that relative immediately left leaving me alone with all the suitcases and baggage at that time i hate my father for leaving me in the situation fellow toastmasters that decision made a great change in my life i was turned uh, i mean i become independent and i was able to face the hopes uh, i mean face the fears with shades of hopes whenever we uh, go through a sea of uh, of uh, difficulties we transform into a new person each stage we transform into a new person with a stronger personality whom we don't even recognize there is always a uphill when there is a downhill so i am ready to face the new challenges and create new me what about you tmori